Okay, babies, I don't get it either, but somebody out there likes it. <laughs> so uh, we'll just keep shoveling through the seasonal syrup here for a few more days. Not too much time left of this good cheer and bad music. Hey, Mom, when you're thinking of that last-minute stocking stuffer, here's something different. Shoes! Merry Christmas! Yeah. Oh, what's the matter with you? Whatever happened to joy to the world, a deste fidelis, oh, Tannenbaum? Visa, master charge, <laughs> Listen, Jennifer, I'm gonna be sitting here for 12 hours straight on Christmas Day, listening to the little drummer boy over and over and over. Oh, I'm sorry, John. I volunteered. I've nothing better to do, I'm alone. You know how hard it is to find a two-pound turkey? No. It's hard. I bet you got some spectacular plans, huh? Masked balls, formal banquets, all of it. No, none of that. Oh, come on. Well, we do have the office Christmas party this afternoon to look forward to. That'll be fun. No, it won't. Mom's swing tips, Jimmer Spikes. They'll light your loved ones with the unexpected gift. Shoes. A great Christmas idea. <laughs> okay, Xmas babies, here's a little tune that, for me, just kind of sums up the spirit of Christmas past, present, and future. <laughs> Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me, I'm living on the air in Cincinnati, Cincinnati WKRP. Got kind of packing and unpacking From town to town, up and down the dial Maybe you and me were never meant to be Just maybe think of me once in a while I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati Morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Mr. Carlson. Ah. Uh, Bet you wondered what I'm doing. I couldn't begin to guess. Okay, what are you doing? Decking the halls. With, with bottles of holly. <laughs> Your annual Christmas joke, funny as ever. Oh, thank you. I, I enjoy doing it. <laughs> How are you and Mrs. Carlson going to spend Christmas Eve? With Mama. Oh. Every year, we, uh, we have dinner. Every year, she sends me out for a tree. Every year, I come back with the best one I can find. <laughs> Every year, she says to me, Arthur, you've let me down again. <laughs> How about you? Oh, nothing to compare with that. Uh, oh, come on. I bet you got yourself a honey of a tree. No, I didn't get a Christmas tree this year. Jennifer, come on. What is Christmas without a tree? Oh, hi, Bailey. Hi. Guess what I'm doing? Talking to Jennifer. <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's clear off those desks and set up for the party so we all can have a very good time and get the heck out of here. <laughs> hey, Lester. Listen, I want you to do a running story on your newscast about Santa and his sleigh being sighted on the way to Cincinnati. Are you serious? Eh, it's cute, lads. It always works. Cute? Andy, news is not cute. <laughs> Poignant, dramatic, yes. Sometimes ironic. But never cute. Season's greetings, everyone. Why can't you cooperate, Les? Truth is a stern mistress, Travis. Uh, well, no L to you. Merry Christmas, Andy. Well, Merry Christmas, Jennifer. It's nice to see someone with a little Christmas spirit. This stinks. I can't get a flight out of here. I'm on standby. Who do those airlines think they are? Should have planned ahead, Bailey. I made my reservations in July. Non-stop service to Dayton. <laughs> well, I gotta get to Chicago. It'll work out. You'll get home. Oh, yeah, just in time for a room full of relatives asking me if I'm engaged. <gasps> Involved. <gasps> Pregnant. <gasps> but you'll be home. I'm with you, Bailey. All of Lucille's people blew in last night. How many? I don't know. I lost count. But there are beds and cots and hungry, overweight relatives all over the place. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, what is going on here? You'll be with your families at Christmas. I took a shower with a bald-headed man this morning. <laughs> Where are you going, Andy? Huh? Oh, uh, home? Santa Fe. Leave tonight. Mighty nice place to be this time of year. I can't wait to get home. Christmas Eve, Mother and I gather by the fire. <laughs> it's not a real fire. Now you make too much of a mess. But it looks real. Mother doesn't like a messy hearth. You know, it doesn't seem quite right that we're all splitting up for Christmas. Well, that's what the office Christmas party is for. 
<laughs> It'll be fun. We can open our gifts. <laughs> gifts? Uh-huh. No, 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 no. We decided. We agreed. No gifts this year. You decided that. I didn't. Besides, you don't have to get anything. I just wanted to get a little something for each of you. Merry Christmas. Is that a little rotten or what? Well, I'll tell you what, pal. If Miss Blondie thinks I'm gonna rush right out and get her a Christmas present just because she got me one, oh, oh, oh got another thing coming. Absolutely. We said no gifts. That's true, we agreed. you too, Mama. Now, I'll make it home next year for sure, I promise. But you just all have Merry Christmas now, you hear? No, I'm fine. Bye now. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, how are you? Huh? I mean, uh, hello, Mr. Carlson. I think it's time for the Christmas party. Oh, so do I. <laughs> Who's Santa this year? Venus. <laughs> Venus. Is that a problem? No, I'm just trying to get a mental picture of that in my head. Bottoms <laughs> up with that punch. We're almost done. Now, wait a minute, Bailey. What's the rush? There's no rush. Oh, somebody come over here and eat these cookies. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> we got it. These are for me. Oh, gosh, Herb. Worms? <laughs> Not just any worms, red wigglers. They're our biggest clients. Besides, you fish. Oh, Bailey. Thank you for this great piggy bag. <laughs> You're welcome. And Les. Winning through intimidation. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Certainly helped me. <laughs> These worms are dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good King Wenceslaus. Good King Wences. Oh, hold it, Beaver. We joke around a lot here. I mean, we have a lot of fun together, but uh, time has come, and uh, with Christmas just a few days away, I think this is it to tell each and every one of you exactly what I think about you. Please don't do that again this year. <laughs> We're not just co-workers here in this station. We're... Well, doggone it, I'm gonna say it. We're family. Look, I gotta go or I'm gonna turn into pudding, okay? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. I believe we were going to sing? Yeah. Good King Wences, we got singing Let's look, look oh, out you. We gotta go if you wanna ride home. Oh, okay, Herb. That sounds good to me. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, yeah, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hey, oh, Christmas. Wait a minute. We haven't had our Christmas toast. That's right. Uh, yeah. All right, toast. Let me handle this. I'll handle it. Okay, um, uh, this one? All right, um, to Christmas? <laughs> okay, Merry oh, Christmas. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that it? A ten-minute Christmas party? Well, that's just fine. That's perfect. I'm sorry you've all been so inconvenienced. Enjoy yourselves. Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. Jeez, she sure knows how to ruin a good party. <laughs> I wonder what's the matter with her. I don't know. She said she wasn't going home for Christmas. Maybe uh -huh. this party is all she had planned. Yeah, she said she didn't even have a tree. Oh. You dudes are crazy. That's one lady that's never going to be alone unless she wants to be. Well, uh, let's go, Les. Okay, Merry Christmas. Jack. Merry Christmas. Right. Have a good show, Jack. Okay, okay, nice. Nice. Merry Christmas. I, I want all of you back here on Wednesday. All right, all right. Good night. All right, take it easy. I'm dreaming of a... <laughs> they say the star that rose in the east that night was actually Venus. <laughs> now, who am I to dispute such a good story like that? It's the Christmas season in Cincinnati, and this is a trap. Here to cool your roasting chestnuts. I'm wishing all you, my children, peace on earth. Merry Christmas, baby. 
You really did treat me nice. Hi. Hey, baby. Jennifer, oh, I'm sorry. Is it okay if I come in? Sure, of course. I thought everybody was gone. Well, they are. Merry Christmas, oh. baby. I like that. Yeah, Chuck Berry. Would you like some of Mr. Carlson's brew? Thanks. Venus? Mm-hmm? Do you think I ruined the party this afternoon? I mean, people do have places to go and things to do. No. I guess I just expect everybody to feel about Christmas the way I do. Whatever happened to that joy we used to have when we were kids? You know, I used to leave cookies and milk out for Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, I remember my grandmother always dressing up as Santa every year. <laughs> Your grandmother? Yeah. Well, you see, my grandfather did it, and after he died, she kind of kept up the tradition. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's really the only reason why I decided to be uh, Santa this year. <gasps> so, what are your plans? Oh, I have very special plans. Yeah? Like what? You know, plans. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have a good time. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Venus. You too. Take care of yourself now. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Hello, John. Look, you know, I think Bailey's right. I think Jennifer's going to be all alone this Christmas. Really, I mean, and, and she's so damn good looking. We just take it for natural that she's going to have a good time when she's probably just going to be sitting around all by herself. I think you and I ought to get together. We're to do something. And, and just right now, what do you think, huh? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> television set isn't that sweet you got a regular department store up here well it is the season yeah for some of us oh merry christmas hey thanks lady my pleasure bye guess we'll just have to put that in the bathroom or something come on in it's open watch the top you got the top yeah i got the top hi Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What are you guys doing here? We were in the neighborhood. <laughs> in the spirit of Christmas, we killed a tree for you. Thank you. Well, we thought, you know, Johnny and I figured that you being here, we wanted to come over and kind of cheer you up. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, Venus bought the tree. It's a little music box. I didn't have time to wrap it. Oh, Johnny, thank you. It's beautiful. Well, aren't you two just the sweetest things? <laughs> Excuse me. Come in. Hi, <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know, I was on my way to Santa Fe and I said, Doug, Gunnar, I'm gonna stop over there and see if, if Jennifer needs whatever. It... <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Uh, we brought Jennifer a tree. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Well, you call that a tree? Check this out. Now, this is a tree. What are you talking about? You can't hold a candle to that tree. Look at that. Bull. Check out this tree. Out of the way, sport. Huh? Yeah, excuse me. That tree has never seen light. I figure this one's either a trash masher or uh, another TV. You know, I feel kind of silly. Well, you should, bringing a tree up here. <laughs> Merry Christmas again. Oh, thank you, Miss Marla. Just Bye -bye. Think, uh, Jennifer could have been buried under an avalanche of these gifts and no one here to help her. How sad that was. The three wise men. Would you like some eggnog? Well, I don't normally, but if you insist, it's Christmas. We just want to make you feel good. <laughs> Come on in. It's open. Bonsoir, oh, Jennifer. Et un autre chauffage qui détraque. Alors, elle transpire. Elle transpire. Mais je vous apporte un petit cadeau. C'est un stylo et un porte-mine. Oh, mais comme c'est gentil de ne pas laisser ces pauvres clochards passer la nuit. Bonsoir, Jennifer, et joyeux Noël à tous. Oh, pardon, excusez-moi. Joyeux Noël. Merry Christmas, Jennifer. What are you guys doing here? Uh, delivering trees. Put yours over there with the rest. I thought you didn't have a tree. Are you kidding? It's your basic black forest. In here. Oh, Bailey, this is just too incredible. Yeah, well, Mr. Carlson and I decided to get you a tree. Oh, thank you both so much. Hey, Jennifer, you never told us you spoke French. I don't. <laughs> Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, sir! And everyone else? <laughs> Merry Christmas, sir. Thought you'd be alone. That's why I dropped by. Where's your tree, Herb? What? Take a look, Herb. You can't get in here without a tree. 
Wow. Um, well, I didn't bring one. Herb, I guess you're gonna have to leave. <laughs> I did bring some mistletoe. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not enough. You don't have a tree, you're gonna have to go. So we all brought a tree. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll go get one. I'll be right back. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. What do you say? Can Herb stay even though he doesn't have a tree? Oh, gee. Oh, no. yeah, okay. What the hell? It's Christmas. Oh, okay. Herb. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Everyone's so nice at Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hi, Les. Come on in. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. Herb told me to wait downstairs in the car because he had to come up here and give you your Christmas goose. <laughs> Shut up, Les. Oh, you're all just too much. We, we want you to have as wonderful a holiday as we're going to have. Right? That's right. 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 Thank you. Thank you, all of you. I mean, you're all so very sweet. And, and I am so touched. Which just makes it all the more difficult to tell you that I have to go. Huh? Go where? Bethlehem. <laughs> The Admiral is flying me to Bethlehem for Christmas in his jet. Now that is a down-home Christmas. <laughs> I, I didn't want to tell you because it, it just sounded so, so perfect. Yeah, it certainly does. Thank you. Now is that a Christmas or what? Jennifer in Bethlehem, you know? I mean, we don't need to be over here feeling sorry for her, huh? Here's right? Christmas. Yeah, right. For that. We ought to be over at my place. I'm the one with problems. <laughs> You know, the Admiral's limousine is probably downstairs right now. Does anybody need a ride to the airport? Well, I do. Except my, uh, my bags are in my apartment. Well, we'll just stop by and pick them up. Oh, that's great. What about you, Bailey? Oh, uh, well, I, I still don't have a flight. Well, I'll just have the Admiral drop you off in Chicago. You can do that? Oh, sure. Would somebody help me with my bags? Hey, come on. Sure. Oh, they're in the bedroom. Oh, what can I do with the tree? I, I, I want them. Oh, I'll take them off. <laughs> Mother's not going to get me this year. <laughs> Les, can you give me a hand? Oh, sure. Jennifer, I could use a ride to the airport, too. Oh, sure, Les. Come on along. Thank you. Boy, oh. carrying all those trees kind of gives you that Christmas spirit, doesn't it? Excuse me. That's what does, Beaver. I may run into the tree. Merry Christmas, everybody. On the feast of Stephen, so long it is in the south, may it fall on you. You know, it, it's, I, I don't know, kind of crazy, but, uh, well, we all thought you were going to be alone, so that's why we all dropped by. I know her. That's why this is already the most special Christmas I've ever had. Really? Where's that mistletoe? Here. Put it over your head. <laughs> Every year, Christmas just keeps getting better and better. 